These are the last two boxes from a 10 box palette of wholesale clothing that I got from a fellow reseller who just needed to get them out of her house because she is in the midst of moving and getting married and all that kind of stuff. So I was happy to take them off of her hands. I have what I think is around a little over a hundred pieces to show you today. So let's dig in. Won't nobody love you the way they should Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park and I'm a part-time reseller on reselling platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Kiddos and Facebook Marketplace and those are the platforms where I plan on selling these things. I am going to list these items online as quickly as possible after I show them to you. I have already listed a few items and even sold a few um, but I'm excited to finally get through these so I can process them. I paid $3.92 per item. That's what it came down to when you break it down by you know the amount that I paid and the number of items that were in sellable condition and so you know it's like not a horrible number it's maybe a little bit more than I typically would hope to pay when I'm purchasing wholesale but the reason it's so expensive is because of shipping I was getting it shipped from Michigan and it was 10 huge boxes of clothes makes sense right so this is the last unboxing that we're gonna do if at any point you are enjoying this unboxing video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to kind of see how you know these items do and to see if they sell in future what sold videos and whatnot but we're gonna go ahead and start with this dress this is and you guys it's been so long since I have seen these items because I um, yeah I sorted through all this stuff weeks ago I feel like and so I don't really remember what's in here okay so this is by the brand flying tomato this brand is sometimes I think sold at anthropology I want to say um, but it's also sold at you know a bunch of other places this is a size medium and it is this really interesting, like, I don't, yeah, I mean, this is paisley, like paisley print maxi dress. It does have this other interesting print along the slit, and there's like a pretty sizable slit. With dresses, with slits, you always want to check where the split happens to make sure that it isn't ripping, because sometimes you'll see that in the uh, splits. But this looks to be in good condition. I would imagine I could list this for $25 to $35. Um, I have not sold very much Flying Tomato. The Flying Tomato that I have sold has done okay. It's not like amazeballs. This is a pair of pants by Columbia, and they are in a size 10 for women. I do find that this kind of athletic wear, or not athletic wear, like these look like a pair of khakis or like chinos, but because they're by the brand Columbia, I feel like people just kind of associate it with outdoor activities. And I do find that this kind of stuff sells really well during this time of year because people are getting ready for, um, you know, just going outside more and doing things like hiking and other outdoor adventures. So these I will probably list for 20 to $25. There is like a little bit of like dog hair on them or something, but it'll be really easy to get off with a lint roller. Next up we have a piece by a brand that I love. This is the brand Cool. So it doesn't say it anywhere on this label, but that little mountain logo is for cool. This is in a size extra small and it is a kind of, I don't know, like kind of thermally. I feel like it's a good layering piece maybe for if you're camping outdoors. Well, of course you're camping outdoors, but maybe you're camping. It's not super like warm out. I think this would be a really great layering piece. It's just like a nice oatmeal color with a v-neck and yeah, seems to be in pretty good condition. I don't know how to price this kind of stuff. To be honest, I have a lot of experience with cool bottoms and like hardly any experience with cool tops. And so I would imagine I could list this for at least $20 though. Maybe more, who knows? This is a denim. It's like definitely a little longer than knee length, I would say, almost a midi skirt, and it's from the brand Chico's. This is in a size zero. I did upload a video not too long ago about my favorite mall brands to resell for $25 or more. Chico's is on that list. Now, I don't know if I could get 25 for a skirt like this. Maybe, like I've never tried selling denim skirts by them. It's got these nice bold gold buttons on the pockets. Um, there's a lot of stretch to it. 
Size zero is not the best size when it comes to Chico's. Chico's does use vanity sizing, so it's not a typical zero, meaning like a 24 waist. I don't remember what it actually is because my brain doesn't like to retain information like that, but um, it's something. It's something not size zero in the way that we know it. Um, this is a dress. I'm trying to find a brand or something. Okay, here we go. This is a dress by West 22, um, which looks like it is like a diffusion line of Joanna Barashi. I don't know how to say um, that brand. I'm so sorry. Joanna Barashi, this is a size large, by the way. Joanna Barashi is actually a pretty good brand. It's pretty expensive retail. However, I have like a pullover tunic by this brand. And I've had it now for like three years. So I don't have a lot of faith in this brand. That's not to say that it's not a good brand. I just, from my one piece, have not had very good luck with it. This, however, is darling. This is so cute. If it were my size, I honestly would probably keep it and then be like, why do I have this in my closet? I have nowhere to wear it to. But look at the sleeve. I love the bell sleeve. I love the crochet lace. Um, I'm trying to see if there are flaws in the lace. I don't think so. Um, the only issue is that this has clearly been worn before. And on the inside of the dress, there is some makeup, um, you know, just right along there, as you can see. So, you know, I, I'll look this up. Like I said, Yoana Barashi by itself is like pretty decent. If it's worth a decent amount, maybe I'll try to take the time to wash it. Even the bottom of this, I just really like like the scalloped hem. It's really pretty. Perfect for like just a nice um, romantic night out or for like vacation. I don't know. I think it's really pretty. So we'll see if we can list that for at least 35, if not more. I'm going to put that over there actually. Um, this is another either maxi or midi dress. This is Show Me Your Moo Moo. I shared in another unboxing video from this series that I just have not had a lot of experience selling Show Me Your Moo Moo. And I know that the Show Me Your Moo Moo like bridesmaids dresses can do really well. I don't think this is necessarily a bridesmaids dress because bridesmaids dresses are typically um, one color. Not to say that they have to be because you can do whatever you want when you get married and have your bridesmaids wear whatever you want them to. But I don't think this is a bridesmaids dress. So it's got kind of this like wrap detail. Um, it's got kind of like a high low uh, not a high low but it's like there's this on the inside i don't know i don't really know what's happening here but i like the print i love a good watercolor print it is a nice v-neck dress there is a little bit of fraying as you can see like on the sleeve that'll be really easy to just snip i didn't see any stains or anything um yeah it's really pretty i you know, have said this before about Show Me Your Moo Moo. I don't get it. The quality is not very good. I don't feel like there's anything super special about it, but some of their pieces can go for a ton. Hopefully that can go for a ton. This is one of my favorite bread and butter brands as well. Y'all know if you've been watching my channel that I love me some Talbots. This is a size 8P. Again, while this is on the list of 10 brands that you can resell pretty consistently for $25 or more, I do specifically say in that video that it doesn't necessarily apply to very lightweight, you know, just kind of popover or like button up shirt type situations, which this definitely is. This I imagine will go for like 15 to 20 dollars but it's a really nice piece it's perfect for the office especially in the summer it's got some pleating on the front big bold paisley print fun and it weighs nothing so if i ship it out you know over ebay shipping will be like three something this is banana republic factory which you know the factory bit not super excited about that but i can already tell from looking at it that it is some sort of linen hundred percent linen so even though it's banana republic factory it's still gonna sell pretty well and hopefully pretty fast especially if i get it listed soon because people are shopping for linen right now this is in a size 10 and it's got this really cool waistband it's kind of like braided if you can see that like woven i really like that and they're just a really nice pair of kind of wide leg ivory no <laughs> like beige again maybe oatmeal oatmeal colored 
pants. They are perfect for this season. So again, I'm going to put this off to my right because that's where I'm going to put all of my lighter color clothes because I like to uh, photograph them on this wall right here. They look so good against the blue versus um, the white wall that I have in the room where I typically photograph stuff. And I'll probably list those for 25. This is by the brand Splendid and it's a size small. Splendid does okay. Let's see, what is this? Um, it's a it, it's pretty expensive retail. It is this popover with like a very preppy nautical look to it. I thought these were ruffles on the pockets. It's just that this is very wrinkly. So if you can see the flap over the pocket on the chest, super wrinkly. This needs like the longest steam of its life. Um, but yeah, I mean, this probably will sell for like, I'd say 15 to 20 dollars i think this is a calvin klein career dress just from the feel of it i am correct <laughs> there was a fair amount of calvin klein in here this is in a size 14 which is great it's in this beautiful eggplant color it's got these really interestingly placed gold zippers and they like work they're not just design i don't know why you'd want to unzip right here unless maybe you've got a wild night planned <laughs> I don't know like after work you just you gotta go straight to your crazy escapades your evening festivities I don't know this is the dress for that this will really take you from day to night um, no pockets or anything but again gold zippers check so there's that I'll probably list this for around $35 if not more I mean I feel like those zippers warrant an extra ten dollars or something at least Oh, is a heavy duty piece. So this is the brand Musetti. Um, and at first I was a little bit excited because it does say made in Italy on the tag, which can often mean really good things. I have been sending things into the real real lately and I was hoping that I could send this in. However, I didn't see it on their brand list. And when I looked up the brand on the website, I didn't see any items by this brand. And just because something says that it's made in Italy doesn't necessarily mean that it's awesome. Also, it kind of has the feeling and appearance of shrunken wool. And I kind of think that that's what's going on here with this piece. Like someone tried to put it through the wash, which is such a shame. So yeah, it's 90% wool, 10% cashmere, like such great materials, but it feels really tight. Does that make sense? It just seems like it's been shrunken down. And I'm pretty sure that there's a way to like unshrink wool. I feel like I've heard that. If you know, please let me know in the comments. Maybe this would be a good piece to try that out on whatever that technique is, because you can tell that it should be a really great piece, but not, not looking like this. Like this would be small on me. I think, I don't think it's supposed to look like that. And then there's a little tag that says five underneath. So I don't know if maybe this brand uses, um, some kind of like vanity sizing the way that Chico's does. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do with that one. I will put that over here though. Cause it is lighter colored. This is something by the brand Orvis. Orvis is a great outdoor brand. I think it's pretty well known for fishing. This looks like a jacket. Yeah. This is a size small. Um, I think it's a women's small and it has these buttons. It's got a zippered pocket, but I think it, this is a woman's jacket clearly, I feel like, because it's got the drawstring. It's like, you know, one of those like utility, uh, I forgot what it's called. I forgot the style name, but yeah, it's one of those. So I'm pretty sure this is women's. It's also got this really interesting embroidery all throughout on the back. So this is definitely a little bit more substantial of a piece from Orvis. This does need a good steam. So I'll take this upstairs. I would imagine at least 35, $45 on that. This is the brand Adriana Papel, which, you know, this is a brand that's been around for a decent amount of time. So sometimes you'll find things and they're just kind of dated, which this I think is one of those pieces. It is made of 100% silk, however, which is nice. I mean, a lot of their pieces are, um, and it's in a size six. This kind of seems like the kind of jacket that women wear sometimes as like a mother of the bride, um, you know, like an outer layer. It also seems very Asian inspired to me, like with the buttons on the front. And then it's got, yeah, this is embroidery. It's got some like pretty intense embroidery. I don't know with something so dated like this, 
25 even though it is 100% silk I just I don't realistically see it going for much more than that this is Lily Pulitzer I want to say from the print I am correct I'm pretty sure this is very very old Lily Pulitzer it's in a size 8 it is just a cute little a-line skirt and it's got little limes and lemons all over it it's really cute very lightweight it is not lined on the inside I don't know how much something like this is worth, um, you know, like the older styles. There are some that can do really well because for whatever reason they're really sought after. Is this one of those skirts? I don't know. Um, but this I will photograph down here because look, bam, pop, it pops against the wall. This is a pair of what appears to be dress pants by Calvin Klein. You know, I don't sell a lot of their um, dress pants for women. I've sold men's, but I don't know that I've sold any for women. So these are in a size 16, which is great. They are gray. They are dress pants. <laughs> they have a lot of stretch to them, which is great. They're in really good condition. I don't know. Maybe I can list these for 25 That sounds like that would be wonderful. This is Lane Bryant in a size 28, which is a great size. Lane Bryant is a plus size brand. I personally have a really hard time moving it so we'll see how this does this retailed for $89.95 and it is a dress and it appears to be I don't know what kind of dress this is like I don't feel like it's I, I feel like maybe it's a dress you would wear to like a party or something it's definitely not like a career dress it's got these side kind of like ornament or it's got like this big ruffle across the front and it carries over to the side um, the frustrating thing is I'm pretty sure this is supposed to have a belt because it's got the belt loops I don't see a belt and maybe there'll be one in the box but I don't see a belt so I will have to note that in the description and it's got kind of this little opening in the back um, so definitely not like a career dress this print is interesting you know what there's a buyer out there somewhere for this and when I find that buyer I'll have a I'll have a dress waiting for them this is by Joie I do love the Joie aesthetic it's just very like feminine flirty just very like pretty and um, a lot of their pieces are made of like hundred percent silk which I'm gonna assume that this is this is just really beautiful it's like a few different panels of different floral fabrics all kind of stitched together gorgeous and it's got this nice high neck spaghetti straps it hooks in the back beautiful it's got the little ties on the side or maybe just oh because it's like an elastic waist so you can um, tighten it at the waist so that you know you can cinch it to your liking Beautiful. I'm 99% sure that this is 100% silk, but let's just double check. Let's just say, yep, 100% silk. I mean, I love it. If I had more places to go where I could wear things like this, I would for sure keep that, but that would be a waste because I don't, I don't need anything like that. This is Free People, and this is a dress as well it's just a cute little mini dress so mini so little floral print interesting it needs a really good steam as well I bet this is a little bit older of a style but hopefully I can get hopefully I can list up for like 25 to 35 the joie dress you know I love joie it just doesn't resell for a ton and I tend to sit on it so I'll try listing it around like 50 or something but honestly that's probably a little high this oh okay so this is so slumming by chico's the reason i oh is because it's a size triple zero i have never ever before in my life seen that from chico's so it deserved an oh from me but um this is a pair of is this icat is that the print name i think it is but um a pair of printed jeans not really something that people are super excited about right now, but um, I'll list those for 25 I also 
you know, I'm not crazy about the size. I'm sure it means it's probably one of the smallest sizes that they have. And Chico's, like I said earlier, does better in the bigger sizes. So we'll see. I, I imagine I'm going to be sitting on that one for some time. This is Lady Hagen. I don't know if that's how you say it. I don't know how else you would say it though. So I'm going to go with Hagen. Size small. It is just this green golf sleeveless polo. I have been selling golf stuff like crazy. So even though I'll probably only sell this for like 15 to 18 dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and list it fast because I think that it'll sell soon. These are a pair of seersucker shorts from J. Crew. They are the City Fit and it's J. Crew Factory, and you know that because again, just like the Banana Republic, there are the diamonds underneath. Um, these are just so preppy and perfect for the summer. Um, definitely like more of a mid-rise. Probably list these for around 18 to 25, probably 18-ish. I do love me some seersucker. These look to be swim trunks. Oh, no. Okay. I thought they were going to be swim trunks. It is a skirt. And it is lined. It has like a built-in like shorts layer. The brand is Athleta. This is old Athleta, though, you can tell. Um, this is a size 4. So Athleta pieces, most of them, if you look at the tag, it'll tell you what year the item is from as well as the style. So this one doesn't even say the year, which probably means it's super old. Um, not like the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Someone told me in the comment section of a haul video not too long ago, she's like, stop saying things are ugly from your haul. <laughs> like you're going to dissuade people from buying it. I mean, it's okay though that we have different tastes, you know, like someone might think that this is really cute. I am not that person. If you are that person, I do not judge you or anything like that, but um, I have this. I have this for you if you if you were looking for it. This is the North Face. This is a size small and um, the North Face is a great bread and butter outdoor brand. Um, you will find these pieces pretty frequently and most of it, like these fleeces and stuff, um, they're not worth too much, but they'll sell. So this will probably sell for around 20 to $25, I would imagine. It's just one of those like zip up fleeces. It's got the zippered pocket. I did hear that the North Face does really well on the real reel. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll send a couple pieces from these boxes over to them because I do tend to sit on the North Face for quite some time. So maybe it's better to just let them deal with it. This is a pair of, okay, maybe they're not swim trunks. I think they're swim trunks, but um, the brand is Burton. These are in a men's size large. They are um, not swim trunks. They're swim the other one, boarding shorts, they're boarding shorts, I think, board shorts, board shorts, yes, um, they've got the cargo pocket, I don't know how much these can go for, I want to say 18 to 25, how does that sound to you, this is another linen piece, this is by J. Jill, this is in a size small petite, I do, like I said, love selling linen around this time of year, but I hate how wrinkly it gets, you have to steam the crap out of them because look at how crazy this looks after living in this box for as long as it's lived there. So this I can probably sell for around $20 to $25. I'll list it for sure at least at $25. Um, it's just I'm going to have to steam it for like five whole minutes, just that one piece. This is another J. Crew Factory. This is also new with tags. This is in a size 18, which is great. And it is a pair of blue dress pants. They appear to be cropped, perfect for the office, and these need a good steam and a good lint rolling as well. These I will probably list for around $25 to $35, but on honestly probably, I mean, it is a bigger size. Yeah, probably $25 to $35. Um, what are you? This is Crown and Ivy. This is in a size 14. I always think that Crown and Ivy makes such cute clothes it just never resells for very much. This brand is sold at department stores like Belk, which I don't have in my area. But whenever I talk about Crown and Ivy, people in the comments are always like, that's sold at Belk, which is in my area. So if you live near Belk, let me know down in the comments below and let me know if you shop there. But yeah, I think they make really cute clothes. They just don't resell for much. So this, I actually imagine, will resell for probably 
I'll probably get like 18 to 20 for that, I would assume. This is a pair of jeans by the brand Cut From The Cloth. You know, a lot of people swear by this brand and I have not been picking it up. So I'm excited to give it another shot. These are definitely more of a mid-rise. These are um, definitely a darker wash. These are, what size are you? These are a size six and these are just like a boot cut style. They're in really great condition. Let's see. I mean, there's a little tiny bit of heel drag on the back, so I will just photograph that, take pictures, and let people know. I do think that there are people out there who really like Cut From The Cloth. Um, it is a brand that is sold at like Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, and um, a few other places. This is a Nike Dry Fit Live Strong shirt in a size medium. I'll probably list that for around $20. It's just a nice like athletic shirt. It's like super moisture wicking. It's got some mesh panels along the side. Perfect just to work out in. This is a pair of printed pants by Prana in a size 6 to 28. Okay, there's a part of me that feels like I have sold this exact pair of pants before. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure I have this exact pair. Sorry, the lighting is kind of weird. Obviously, it's very late at night. It is almost 11. Um, so it's like partly I'm tired and it's partly just my ring light making it look like there are stains all over this. I don't think that there are, though. Um, these will probably sell, hopefully, for around $25. We shall see. This is a pair of New With Tags shorts. The brand is is Hagar. That's what I thought. There were a few Hagar pieces in these boxes. Um, this is in a size 40 for men. These are just some nice, very lightweight khaki-ish shorts with a plain front. Um, performance, cool 18 moisture wicking. So I think these are great to golf in, essentially, is what it is. So I will Try to get these up ASAP, probably list them for 25, realistically sell them for anything north of 18. This is the brand Columbia in a size 2XL for men. Again, with like that moisture wicking technology. This is in a bright red color. Just says Columbia. Because it's a 2XL, I think it'll sell fairly quickly, probably between that 15 to 20-ish dollar mark. Um, hopefully that'll be a pretty quick flip. I've been selling that kind of stuff a lot lately, I feel like, as people are getting ready for golf season and all that kind of stuff. This is another pair of pants by the brand Prana. These are the straight fit. These are a men's, I think. These are size 32. I didn't even know Prana made men's, so I'm excited to see how that does. They feel really nice. Okay, actually, I might see if my husband wants to try these on. Yeah, I'm gonna make him try those on. <laughs> and then if I were to resell them, I would assume maybe I could list them for like 35-ish. This is a pair of pants by Bowden. To be honest, it seems like there's a little bit of wash wear on them. Yeah, like they're just, they're like a little dingy. Um, the bin pickers used to always use that word and it perfectly describes these pants. Like they've just been loved, you know? So um, these are in a size six, they're bold. Purple pants, perfect for the office, perfect pop of color. Honestly, I would probably, oh, they've got like a little zipper on the ankle. I would probably list these for like 18 to 20, just try to move them fast. Again, the, I don't, well, you know, I will say like color is in right now and like bold colors are in right now. So maybe these could do okay, but I would still want to kind of move them quickly given the fact that they are a bit dingy. This is by the brand Burton. They make great snowboarding gear. Um, this is in a size extra large. This I think is actually a pretty cool piece and could do pretty decent. So it's like this really long, um, kind of like, you know, cowl necky um, sweater. And it's got just like these really bold graphics on the sleeve. I think that's really cool. You don't see this neckline a lot in menswear, so I think that's really nice. I don't know how I can price this yet because I'm not super familiar with Burton. I don't sell it very often, but this appears to be in really good condition. There's like a little patch down here. 
Um, I don't know. I'll do some research and I'll let you know how much I can list that for. This is another Columbia 2XL polo. So part of me wonders if I should just lot this one up with the red one. Let me know what you would do down in the comments below. Um, I think they're they're not the same exact thing because this is an active fit shirt and then this red one has like the omni wick you know like the moisture wicking technology so they're not the same thing but they are the same size and that's why I wonder if it would be wise to just lot those together I think I will and again make sure that if you're not that you subscribe to my channel to see how that does as a lot um, this is a pair of jeans by Madewell I they appear to be maybe a little bit older let's see they are the 10 inch high rise skinny in a size 24 tall that's pretty good actually so um they are high rise they are like a taller length which is great you know tall people have a hard time finding pants that are the correct length for them says the five foot woman <laughs> okay so here is another columbia active fit 2xl polo the question is do I want to bundle or like lot up two of the same exact thing I feel like the better option would actually be to just create a multi-quantity listing for these rather than lotting them now let me know what you think I should do about these Columbia polos I think this is another Lily it seems like another kind of older piece well okay so this is a different tag I don't think this tag is as old as that white one that we saw this is in a size four. Again, it is a skirt, just a really simple A-line skirt in this orange and green, very bold floral print. It is pleated and hopefully I can get around 25 for that. I feel like that might be aiming a little high, but we'll see. This is a Greg Norman polo pretty sure it is a golf polo in an orange color again in a 2XL so lots of stuff in a 2XL in this box which is a great size I mean I still think I'll only be able to get maybe like 20 ish for this and I think I saw a stain somewhere I'll look when there's better lighting but I'll take it another pair of purple pants this is by Isaac Mizrahi live and they're in a size 8 tall not a great brand, but again, these bold pops of color like jewel tones and stuff are definitely making a comeback, especially in the summer. Um, and these have a lot of stretch to them. They have an elastic waistband in the back. They are pull on pants. So, you know, people will pay for trends, especially when it's comfortable. So I'll list these for at least 20, 25 ish, and we'll see how we can do. Plus they're that taller length which is great this is a beautiful like light lavender color it's a very lightweight jacket and the brand is Athleta this is a size medium um, a lot of like pastels are super in right now too you guys I read like one in style magazine the other day and so I'm acting like I know what all the trends are right now but I did I saw a lot of like colors and a lot of purples and pinks and stuff like that so this is a really nice lightweight hooded jacket it's so soft I don't know what this material is like it looks nylon-y but it doesn't feel nylon-y and like it looks like it should be water resistant I don't know that it would be it needs a really good steam it's ugh, I wish it were my size it's really pretty so this is Athleta let's see when it's from because like I said the Athleta tags will give you the year. This is from 2014. It's old, but I don't know. I think it's really pretty. So we'll see how that can do. Hopefully I can get like 25, 35 for it. Let's start taking out more than one article of clothing at a time. I think this is pretty. What are you? Okay, so this is by the brand Skies Are Blue. It's in a size medium petite. This is a brand that is sold in Stitch Fix boxes. Um... It, it does okay. It sits for me. I'll be honest. It sits for me for a while. This is a nice popover and it's got like a nice little print to it. I mean, when you see it from afar, it has kind of like a retro vibe, which I kind of like. Like that's, yeah, the print gives me definite 
retro vibes. Um, that I'll probably only make like $15, $18 off of this. No, I'll sell it for like $15, $18, which means I'll make less than that. Um, it's pretty though. This is a pair of, they are like leggings and the brand is gonna be so surprising to you. So let me just show you the pants first. So like a high-waisted polka dot. Okay, they're not leggings. They're like a very thick legging material. So much stretch, but they're not really leggings because they're not like tight enough to be, I feel like. But they've got this really crazy polka dot print. Are you guessing a brand right now? So guess a brand and then let me blow your mind. <laughs> Ready? This is soft surroundings. <laughs> is that what you were expecting? These are in a size medium. I was not expecting that at all. I don't know what I was expecting, but not that. So um, soft surroundings also, let me look. They also sometimes have like the style number and yeah, they do. So you can just look up the style number online and find the style name, find stock photos, um, make some sense out of a piece like that. So um, that's how I'll learn a little bit more about how that piece came to be. This is J. Crew in a size 10. And is it J. Crew Collection? Oh, it's J. Crew Collection. So I forget. Can I send this into the real reel? I feel like I won't get that much for it, but I don't know if I'll get that much for it if I try to sell it myself either. It is this, it's kind of like. Yeah, it's like eyelet and it's one shoulder, but then it's like lined with um, just like a beige lining. To be honest, it's not super my cup of tea. You guys, can I reel reel this? I feel for some reason like I can. So maybe now, I, I don't know. We'll just check. I'll put it in the check the reel reel um, section. Okay, let's put a few more pieces. I actually already pulled out all of the pieces that I could send into the real reel and sent them. I did not know that that was J. Crew collection, which is why I didn't send that. And some of the pieces, as I go through the boxes, like if I didn't do a very thorough job of looking into the brands and stuff, I might find more pieces that could go to the real reel, but we'll see. So here's another Columbia piece. This is a size large. I'm fairly certain that this is a men's large. Nope. Eh, I, I don't know. I don't know actually. So I'm not fairly certain. I'll have to do some research. It is just a full zip fleece. This will probably sell for um, like $18. I think it's a women's. It's not, it's not a men's large for sure. This is Athleta size large. So a decent amount of Athleta in this box. And these are leggings with a very interesting print on the bottom. It's actually, it's actually kind of pretty. I'll show you. I don't feel like I see people wear stuff like this very much, but you know like those rocks where you cut them in half and they're beautiful? I feel like it looks kind of like that. Um, let's see. It has a nice little pocket on the back with a zipper. That's a big pocket actually. This is from what year? 2015. So again, pretty old, but they're so unique. Like maybe someone has really been wanting these. I can probably list them for at least 25, I would assume. This is a skirt. It is new with tags and the brand is Nick and Zoe. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I have kind of a love hate relationship with this brand because it retails for a lot, but I cannot sell it to save my life. No one wants to buy this brand off of me. Again, it's got this really, I mean, I love a good watercolor print. I really do. And this, when you look at it carefully, it's really beautiful. So I said new with tags. I don't actually see a tag, but it's like this button bag that's still attached. So it's basically new without tags. Um, I don't know. I'll probably list it for like 25 or 35, sit on it for like three years and then sell it for 15. So that's, that's how Nick and Zoe works for me. This is the brand Southern Tide Club. This is their performance cotton button up shirt in a size medium. Southern Tide, I do 
like okay with it. This will probably sell for $20 to $25. It's very, very preppy. It's in pretty good shape. Actually, it's in really good shape. Like, it doesn't feel like it's been worn. Um, but there is that. Let me pull out a handful more pieces. This is a dress by the brand Taylor in a size 2. Taylor is sold at like Nordstrom Rack and stuff. It's It doesn't retail for very much. So it is this dress with this like geometric print to it. And it needs a good steam. But it's just like a nice sheath dress. Actually, it's not a sheath dress. Okay, it's got pockets. I don't really know what this style is. It's It looks almost like a dropped waist, but there's not even really like a waist. So, but it kind of like puffs out at the bottom. Do you call it a tulip dress maybe? It's very interesting. I don't know. I'm, I'm not like the biggest fan, but I will try to sell it and maybe get $20. My goal is $20 with that. Talbots? Are you Talbots? Oh, Bowden. This is Bowden. This is a size 4 petite. It's actually really darling. So, again, printed pants. They appear to be cropped, but look at the print. So fun. That's a Bowden print, I feel like. Although, I think Talbots would do something like that, too. Really nice. I like the darts on the back. You see, like that detail there. It's the details. That's what you see in Bowdoin. It's good construction. This is Flying Monkey. This is not a denim brand that I pick up. This is size 26, made in the USA. Um, I see this a lot. I think, where is this sold? Is it sold at like Buckle or something? I think it can do okay. I just, I just don't pick it up. So, you know, this is a great chance for me to try it out. This is definitely more of like a mid-rise. It's not high-rise. Just skinny jeans. I don't know how to price these because I don't sell Flying Monkey. Maybe I'll price them around $25, i am thinking. Let me know how you price your Flying Monkey if you sell a lot of that brand. This is New With Tags Anthropology. There have been quite a few New With Tags Anthropology pieces in these boxes, actually, which is always exciting. The brand, the house brand, is Maeve. Nice big tag there. This is a size 6. This needs a good steam. Let's have a look. at. Oh, this is darling. This is just darling. So the front is pretty unassuming. You guys, this needs such a good steam. It's just like a nice little sheath dress, but look at the back. The back is what sells it. Look at that bow. It almost has like that sailor aesthetic, like a very, yeah, ugh, it's, it's actually really darling. It's a very bold color. Um, that I think is a little bit of a hard sell, but we shall see. Ooh. -ho -ho. Okay, this is Abercrombie & Fitch, size 27 over 4, 27 or 4. This is the Zoe Natural Rise Vintage A-Line Skirt. And I was oh ho because of the little tuxedo stripe on the side. That's cute. Probably list it for 25. 25 is the magical number of how I like to list my items, okay? I just like to list items at 25 if I can. This is a very old, this is definitely vintage. This is a vintage J. Crew tag. This is a size large, 100% cotton, just a button-up shirt. I'll probably get like 15 for this. I hate button-up shirts because I have so many, and they usually sit for quite some time, although I did sell a J. Crew button-up shirt today, but again, I sold it for $15, so it's not like I'm super-duper excited about that. Um, this seems to be new without tags. This is BB Dakota, which can be decent. Um, it's sometimes sold on, you know, sites like Revolve and stuff. This is in a size medium. This just appears to be like a nice oversized chunky cardigan. It has metallic threading, if you can see that. And the reason why I was saying that it's new without tags is because it's got a little baggie with some extra fabric in it still attached on the inside. It is... Yeah, in really great condition. It's not the season to be listing this kind of stuff right now. So to be honest, I will probably be listing this stuff all summer long. <laughs> and so I'm going to put the sweaters and stuff um, in boxes and just kind of wait to sell that stuff more in like August. Um, and I think that that'll be the smart move to make. The last thing from this box. Oh, okay. 
This is Obermeyer, which is a really great ski brand. This is a men's size large. It's made of 30% wool, 70% acrylic. Um, I have sold some of their ski pants for kids, um, but this is a great quarter zip pullover that I think could maybe do well. I've not tried selling any of their men's pieces like this, but I will look it up and let you know what comps are looking like. Again, that is the type of piece that I will hold on to and list later in the season when it makes more sense because I just, I don't know how many people are looking for anything that thick and heavy right now. People are shopping and excited for the spring right now because, um, you know, they want to be outside. They want to be enjoying the good weather. They're not really thinking about chunky knits like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put these items back in this box and then we're going to get into this second box. All right. So here is the very last box from our 10 box adventure. Can you believe it? I'm excited because now I can finally start processing through these boxes and just getting everything input into this perfectly, getting everything listed and cross listed. So I'm excited. This is a pair of pants by Torrid in a size 18. Here we go again with like the big bold colors, which I think are actually just very, very on trend right now. So this I think could maybe get snatched up and do well. Um, there is some pilling as you can see. So I might take a sweater shaver to that. I don't know though because of this material, but these pants are actually really cool. I like the pleated detail on the front. They're just great trousers for the office. Um, the perfect way to stay trendy on a budget. So we'll probably list those for around 25 if I can get the pilling in order. Another new with tags, Anthropology. This appears to be like a bandage dress, which isn't typically like that Anthropology aesthetic. And then it's got this like A-line skirt on the bottom. And this is interesting. This is an interesting choice for Anthro. Um, it is Maeve again. It is a US size eight probably end up selling it for around like 35 I would assume. We shall see. We'll see how that goes. Um, this is Lulu's. This is a size large and it is a nice off the shoulder dress with like, I don't know, this looks very gothic to me. It's like <laughs> kind of witchy sleeves. That's not how you describe them, but you know what I mean? Um, it's a mini dress. Not my favorite piece in the entire world, but maybe someone will want it. Probably list it for like 25. This is a hoodie from the North Face. It is a woman's large. This is like my husband's jam. Like this is the kind of stuff he basically wears all day, every day. So if this were a men's, I would have totally snagged it for him, but it is not. I'll probably list that for 20 to 25. Again, I might try sending some of those North Face pieces into the North Face. We'll see. Into the North Face. Into the real world. We'll see. This is a Polo Sport Ralph Lauren um, pullover, fleece pullover in a size medium. I feel like this is such a Depop type thing. Are you... I'm going to have my husband try it on just to see if it's... I mean, I'm pretty sure it's medium men, but we'll just, we'll make him make sure. Okay. This is Chico's. That's why, that's why I'm going to sell this <laughs> in a size two. Um, it is like a white denim ish. It's like denim, but doesn't feel like denim. Um, jacket, but it's an intense flower on the back, like super intense. I can probably list that one for 35 ish dollars. I would put it in the pile of stuff that's going to get photographed against this wall, except for the fact that it needs a big old steam. So that's going to go upstairs to get steamed. This is the So Slimming Girlfriend crop pants in a size double zero by Chico's. So again, with the So Slimming, um, I've heard some people say that it does so well for them. It does okay for me. Not like so well, but okay. Um, these are in like a nice dark orangish red and I will probably list these for $25 as well. By the way, when I was saying that like bold colors are trending, it's not really necessarily colors like this, but it's kind of more jewel tones I've been noticing. And again, like the pastels and stuff can do really well too. 
This I don't think is on that list of colors that are doing well. Here's another Chico's piece. This is definitely an older Chico's piece as you can tell by the tag. And this is in a size zero. This is a floral, like button up lightweight jacket. Like this is a choice. This is, I mean watercolor, but it's a lot of watercolor. That's a little much for me. This is Romeo and Romeo plus Juliet Couture in a size medium, which is better than like just regular Romeo and Juliet, except just all the Romeo and Juliet, not like amazing, not amazing sellers. These are basically black leggings with like this down the side. Another choice. This is another choice. So there you have it. Um, probably list those for like, I don't know, 15 plus? No, I, I can't even list it for that much because you can see that there are a lot of these little silver things missing. And I was like looking to see, is it just like the pattern? But it's not, like it's missing on different spots on the pants. And you can clearly see the outline of where they were supposed to go because I bet these got thrown in the wash and I bet those things just fell off. They're basically like silver Tic Tacs that have been glued onto the side of those pants. It's an interesting choice. This is the North Face. This is a size 34, so this is men's. They are gray outdoor pants. Perfect, again, for like hiking and camping and just doing all those outdoorsy things. This is the kind of thing I want to get listed right now because this is the kind of thing that I have noticed is selling. And they have a button fly. And yeah, probably list those for 25 to 35 depending on the style and, you know, if people are going for that kind of stuff right now. This is the brand Pistola, which means little gun, I believe, in Spanish. They're in a size 28. This brand is sold on Revolve and a couple other really trendy, like, online um, boutique stores. They are a pair of high-waisted skinny jeans. Um, I have decent luck with this brand. So I'm hoping I can sell these for like 35 to 45 ish dollars. Um, I feel like what we're getting in these last two boxes are pretty good. It's a good way to end um, our unboxing of this wholesale lot. And I'm happy that we get to end on a high note. This is Buffalo David Bitten. Um, I've only ever tried selling one item by this brand and it was a camo button-up shirt for men and I got it at Play-Doh's during a big clearance and I got it about three years ago and it's still listed. <laughs> so not feeling super fond of or hopeful for this piece but it is this fleece lined floral puffer, I mean not really puffer, not puffer but just floral fleece lined vest, full zip. I don't see a sign. I don't see a size. And I'm also like wondering, is this supposed to be reversible? I think it is. I think it's reversible. I don't know who needs that in their life, but pretty certain that's what's happening here. Yeah, I think you can wear it like this if you want, because the zipper, there's a zipper on both sides, but there's no, oh, okay, so there's pockets here. I'm just trying to find a size. And so sometimes if things are reversible, they will put the tag, like the material tag, on the inside of the pocket. I just wanna know, oh, yep, here it is. So this is a size, oh, it's a size large for kids. So this is a kid's piece. That makes a lot more sense. This just did not seem like it was for a grown woman. Okay, so this will probably list for like $15 and rejoice when it sells. Okay, this is a new with tags item. This is Banana Republic. It's in a size zero. It is a dress, I want to say. I, I don't, oh, okay. 
I didn't fully know what was going on for a second, but it is another one sleeve dress with a ruffle on the one sleeve, striped, cute. Okay, so there's that. Probably list that for like $35 since it's new with tags. This is new with tags as well. This is Torrid in a size 26 short. And they are the Noir Pant Collection Trousers. So black trousers, perfect for the office. Let's see how much these retail for, but I'm going to assume I can list these around $35. They retailed for $58.90. Maybe, yeah, 30 to $35 is what I'll price them at. Nice. I do love selling plus size. It sells really well for me. It sells pretty quickly, and I just really like to have clothing for um, every woman. This is another Abercrombie & Fitch piece, size 6. It is a denim skirt. It is definitely a very, very dated style. I mean, I imagine... 10, 15 on that. This is a pair of jeans by Guess. I don't have the best luck selling Guess denim, but we shall see how these do. Oh, these are in a size 31, so I think that these are men's Guess jeans, which maybe will do a little bit better. I'm not sure. They seem to be just like a straight leg jean. Oh, boot low. <laughs> not even close. Boot low jeans. Oh, what the? Oh, okay. This was on that vest earlier, so just like a thread. I mean, they're in really good condition, so I'll have to look up comps, but I'm going to assume I can list these for around 35-ish. See what happens. Another pair of cut from the cloth jeans. These are a size 8 petite. We'll probably list these for 25. They look like they are like straight leg jeans. Um, I have to wear petite size jeans because my legs are so short. But I know a lot of people don't like to pick up things in petite sizes because they say it doesn't sell very well for them. This is a button-up shirt dress. This is not a shirt. This is a shirt dress from Banana Republic in a size 6. This is super perfect for the office. Um, just very, very classy with the stripes, with the buttons, with the collar with all the things, just the perfect piece for a teacher, anyone who works in an office setting. Love to see it. Probably list that for around 25. This is Lacoste, which is a very preppy brand. This used to be so, so, so expensive, but you know, it's, people are not like crazy over it anymore. It is a size six. I do like that it's such a bold pink color. Lacoste also does kind of just very different sizing, so I gotta look up what a size six is. Um, but this is a men's piece, and I can probably list that for 25 to 35. This is a Nike Golf Tour Performance pair of shorts. These are in a size 36. I need to get these listed ASAP because I think that they'll sell really, really fast. Probably list them for, I gotta look them up. Probably 25 to 35 though. They're in really great condition. This is the brand Umji. And it is just a pullover, like, swing tunic. It is new with tags, size medium. It laces up at the chest, which is not super trendy anymore. It was just even a couple years ago. And I think this is the same shirt. Yep. So I've got a multi-quantity listing of a shirt that, you know, probably will sell for, like, $15 maybe. Um, but, you know, we, we like multi-quantity listings. This is a pair of J. Crew City Fit pants, dress pants. Um, they are in that kind of like bold color that is kind of popular right now. They are cropped, perfect for the office. So if you like to be fashion forward in the office, that's a good choice. I remember like pulling this dress out and really liking it. Um, I've never heard of the brand. I feel like it's very cottage core. Maybe not so much like in the style, but in the print. So this is a size large. The brand is Tendency, and I don't remember what came of my research regarding that brand, but look at this dress. It does have pockets, right? Yes, these are pockets. 
Um, I, oh, I love it. I love the different pat, like the different colors, and it's not um, like this is all like one long piece of fabric. It's not like things were like you know stitched. Together. And then look at like the silhouette on this. The skirt, it like bumps out. Can, can, do you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> I like, do you see? It's so interesting, but I love this and desperately wish that it were in my size because I would wear this. Um, I just, I thought that was really, really cute. So nice uh, maxi dress, nice floral maxi dress with just a very like interesting bump out at the bottom. I love that piece. All right, so here's another Chico's piece. This is non-iron. Let's see if that's true. In a size one. No, like I feel like it needs a good ironing or a good steam. You can see the wrinkles, so. Mm. But yeah, perfect for the office. It's got these little things on the shoulders. Nice button up shirt. Oops. This is Chico's as well, size zero. This has a crazy, like, velvet thing on the back. It's an interesting choice. Probably list that for like 35. This is a very simple, the North Face quarter zip pullover in like a rust color. It's really soft. Just a fleece pullover in a size large for women. I mean, I do like that. Um, this is a pair of Pants by Callaway in a size 10. These are golf pants. I don't think that this brand goes for that much. Um, I don't know what I can list them for. But these are the kind that you can like roll up. And there should be like a little tab in here. And you can convert them into, you know, like capris if it gets way too hot outside and your ankles are just sweating like crazy then these pants will offer you a little relief. So buy them. I'll probably have them listed for like $15. No, maybe more. I don't know. I gotta do some research on that brand. This is a skater skirt. Okay. So this says made by Johnny. Is that Johnny last name was? Does this look like Johnny was? <laughs> It's just like a very simple skater skirt. I will say this, it feels really good. It feels really soft. It says that it was made in the USA. I just don't feel like this is what they're making. So that's why it's very confusing. And this is the inside tag. This doesn't seem super Johnny-ish. I don't know. So I don't really know what it is that I have here. Is there a Johnny was counterfeit market like <laughs> so yeah I don't know so even if it is real Johnny was given that that's just not what Johnny was is known for I don't know how much I can even sell that for this is Dimitri it is made of pure virgin wool I don't know this brand at all it's a medium it's like a vintage sweater it's very interesting and it has a very random like, I think this is for breast cancer awareness. It has like that ribbon sewn onto one of the sleeves. I don't know if it was just something that someone did, did randomly, like on their own, but it's like a mock neck sweater. It's a cool vintage sweater. So, I mean, I'm gonna list it and maybe even list it kind of high, but not now. That'll be something that I list, you know, at the end of the summer. This is a pair of Peter Millar pant, no, shorts in a size 38. Peter Millar is a great brand for men. Um, and it's just these really preppy looking chino shorts. They have kind of that like washed out look to them, which I think is purposeful. I don't think that's like a flaw. Um, let's keep looking. We're getting to the end of this box, you guys. Uh -huh. Ooh, wowzaz, wowzaz. So we've got this 
animal print bomber jackets. I don't know the brand. It's got like an elastic waist. Not quite sure what we're working with brand wise, but if it's in this box, it's because I thought I would sell it. So we're selling it. I I don't know how much for, maybe 25? What was that for 25? This is a pair of shorts by Patagonia. These are in a size six. These are just perfect nylon shorts, again, to do like outdoor activities and like hiking, fishing, all that kind of stuff. If these get wet, they will dry really quick. Um, not sure how to price these because I don't sell a lot of Patagonia shorts, but 25, doesn't that sound like a good number? It does to me. This is a pair of pants from the North Face. Again, just perfect for outdoor activities. Again, very like lightweight and quick drying. These are in a size four for women. So if you need pants for your outdoor excursions, I've got you. I've got you. Come visit my Poshmark closet. And you guys, I do always have all of my reselling platforms linked down in the description below. You have to kind of like dig down there. But if you were interested in any of this stuff, come visit my closet and stuff in like four months from now because that's how long it's going to take me to list this stuff, I swear. This is the North Face again. This is a size large. These are pants. I don't know. I don't know what like style these are. These have an ankle zip. I, these are, these are, I'm fairly, yeah, they're a men's large. They look, I, I don't get it. I don't understand what's happening, but okay. That's, that's all I can say. This is Jessica Simpson, the warm-up leggings. They are green with gold stars. I will list them pretty low, probably like $15. But hopefully someone really likes Jessica Simpson and really likes stars still. This is Free People. This is a pretty old piece, I feel like. And the size tag has been ripped out. But it is this yellow v-neck t-shirt with like these little... Well, okay. So on the back, it's got this crochet-ish lace thing section. And it kind of spills over to the side, to the front. $10? Can I get $10 for this? I don't know. I, I don't know. This is Zoic is the brand. Z-O-I-C. I did look it up. And it's here. So I think it's pretty decent. It may even be really good. I don't remember because it's been so long. Um, it's a size medium. Yeah, so it's got an elastic waist. This is what the brand looks like. It's got one of the zipper pockets on the back. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Just, yeah, outdoor activity workout shorts. So tired, you guys. This is L-I-J-A. Lija? 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 These are golf um, pants. It says golf on the label too. That's how I know that. And they are like a very, if you hear that, like I don't know how to describe the material, but it feels not satiny, but yeah, you get, you get my drift. This is a sweater with again, that like funnel neck brown with blue stripes. This is sport savvy. I don't think that's really anything size large. Why am I selling this? Is this worth much? For some reason, I feel like this is possibly QVC or something like that. I mean, we'll keep it in this pile, but I'm gonna look that one up again. And if it's not really worth much, I'm gonna try to consign it at a local consignment pop-up sale that's gonna be taking place soon. This is the brand Evo Voro. This is a size small. I think I, I mean, not I think. I know I looked this up and I think it did okay. But looking at it again, do I even want to go through the lengths that 
selling it. It's got like a cold shoulder. I think I'm going to for sure just go ahead and consignment sale that one. This is the brand Gecko Batique. Um, there were like a few comps from this brand for like, I don't know, like north of $18 for sure. But it's just like a really interesting and super soft, um, kind of like a Hawaiian shirt, but with kind of this like coral reef print. Um, yeah, size extra large. I think that's really good for like vacation and stuff. So hopefully that'll sell quickly, even if not for that much. This is... These are a pair of cool bottoms. This is for women. So you've seen that mountain logo, but that's what it looks like when they actually write out cool. These are in a size four. These are cropped pants, cargo pants for women. I think they're predominantly nylon, if not all nylon. Let's see. Oh, okay, actually more cotton than nylon, but cotton, nylon, and spandex. So yeah, just great for being in the just great for being out in the outdoors. This is White House Black Market, which is, I mean, it's not even like a bread and butter brand in that like while I find it pretty often, it doesn't sell that well for me. So I don't usually pick it up, but it's this like blue printed lightweight sweater. It's not bad. Probably list that for like 20, 25. This is the brand Natural Issue, which I don't know. You know what? Sorry, I'm like feeling it right here and it has this like weird sticky residue which it feels like someone got like a piece of masking tape and like wrote the old owner's name on this and then I don't know. I think I'm going to just consign sale this one because I could see somebody opening a case for that sticky residue. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of a cool piece, but I think... I should let people like try that on and all that good stuff. These I thought were so cool. Look at these. So at first I thought it was Fila because that's kind of what the logo looks like, but these are actually from Neiman Marcus and they retail for $99 and the brand, I don't know what the brand is. So I got to do more research, but because of the fact that they just look so cool, and I think they're swim trunks, right? Yeah, so I'm very excited about these. Um, we'll see how those do. This is the brand Leopards and Roses. This is a size medium. I. This is like a very art-to-wear type thing. That's all I'm going to say about that. You know what? Okay, I guess I'm saying a little bit more about this. Something that a lot of people say about eBay is that you can sell anything on eBay. And something that a lot of people say about the clothes that are sold on eBay is that ugly sells. This will sell. And I won't understand it. Um, but it will sell. And I feel like it could sell for a decent amount. So, like I said make sure that you are subscribed so you can see when something like this sells and how much it sells for. This is the brand Spider, as is evidenced by the big spider on the chest. It is a full zip, I mean, kind of like a jacket. This is a size double XL and it's called their core sweater. I feel like it's double XL for children though. Like I think this is a boy's jacket. I don't think this is double XL for men. Um, Spider is like a pretty good brand when it comes to outdoor, um, when it comes to outerwear. I, I don't know how much that'll fetch me though because um, yeah, I just don't. I gotta do more research. This is the last of it. So this, this is not a very exciting piece. This is the brand Alicia and Megan. And this is what the tag looks like. But this is from Kitson. It retailed for $145. Guys, is Kitson the name of the store that the Kardashians had in Miami? Let me know. I feel like it is. Do you remember that? They used to have that store in Miami. So this is the dress. It, 
it is like definitely a super old style. It's a high-low dress. Yeah, so I don't think it's worth $145 anymore. But maybe one of the Kardashians wore it, like, on a show before. I don't know. That could make it worth a little bit. This is Molly Malloy Evening in a size 16. It is a velvet dress in black. It is about knee length. It has a bow on the back. Like a satin bow. Very interesting. I don't know how much I can get for that. And the final piece of our 10 box palette adventure is this metallic thread mock neck sweater by the brand Simplice Sweaters in a size medium. It's made of a wool acrylic nylon metallic blend, but is made in the Hong Kong. This is definitely vintage. I do really like the neck. It's actually very chic with like how shimmery it is. And you can see it really well because of this light. Um, I like it. I mean, it's not my size and it seems like it'd be pretty itchy. I probably can only get like 15, $20 for this. This is one of those sweaters or one of those pieces, however, that, you know, like Poshmark has that feature where you can take a video of something. Um, eBay has that now too. I think something like this would really benefit from that so that you can really see, you know, the sparkle as you kind of like move the piece. You don't see that in a stationary picture. And so I think I will definitely use that feature for this item. That was everything. If you watched all three of these unboxing videos, this, like I said, was my third one. Yeah, this is my third one. Um, thank you so much. I'd love to hear from you in the comments um, if you think that you know it was worth it. Like I said, my cost of goods per sellable item came out to $3.92. There were a handful of pieces. I can't remember exactly how many. It wasn't too many. I think it was definitely under like 25. Um, there were a number of pieces that just were not in sellable condition because they were, you know, too heavily flawed, whether, you know, it was like a rip or a stain or something like that. Um, but I had a lot of pieces that I was going to be able to sell. A lot of pieces that like, I'm not going to sell myself. They're either going to go to a buy, sell, trade store or to that pop-up consignment sale. But um, the majority of these pieces, I do plan on listing myself. I have already, like I said, started listing some. And I'm very, very excited to have all of this inventory because I've been so busy lately that I can't go out and source as much as I would like. And I don't need to because I am swimming in inventory at this point. So if you enjoy these unboxings definitely hit that like button let YouTube know that you enjoyed this and if you want to check out the other unboxing videos I will have them linked down in the description below and if you want to just watch more haul videos I'll have a playlist link for you right here as well so thank you so much for hanging out with me today I know it was a longer video but we did it we got through all the way to the end thank you so much have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one bye